So most of us probably pull to refresh the Breathe dashboard each day and our data magically appears. But if for some reason it doesn't appear or it doesn't look quite right, then I've got a few tips and tricks to get you back up and running. So first up, let's take a look at the Fitbit. Now Fitbit, like Apple Health or Google Fit, is a health ecosystem, which is just a fancy way of saying that data that is collected from devices like your fitness tracker or your wireless scales is stored in the cloud. So once it's in the cloud, it can be read by the Breathe app. But if things aren't working properly, the best place to start looking is within the Fitbit app. If your data's not in the Fitbit app, then it won't go to Breathe. So the first thing to check is that your Fitbit app is syncing with your watch or tracker. So open the app and pull down on the home screen. And once you do, you should see the sync status changing at the top. This should connect to your watch, grab your data and send it over to the app. Now, sometimes if you've not worn your watch in a few days or you've not opened the app in a while, it might take a bit of time to get everything updated. Once it's finished thinking, the next thing to check is that the numbers you see on your app match what you can see on your watch. And also if you're using a set of Fitbit compatible weighing scales, you can check that any weight measurements you've taken are appearing too. Top tip about heart rate. Now the Breathe app will only track your resting heart rate, which is not necessarily the same as the number you will see on your watch screen because that's well, your heart rate. Resting heart rate is calculated by Fitbit over a period of time. So if you're wearing your watch for the first time or the first time in a while, it won't appear straight away. But once it's ready, it will sync across. So while I'm in the Fitbit app, let me show you another thing to quickly check. If you've already connected your Breathe app to your Fitbit account, then the first time you signed in, you will have been asked if it was okay for Breathe to have access to your data. If you're not sure this was set up correctly, then not to worry because we can simply check by tapping the top left icon, scrolling down and choose manage data and then manage third party apps. You should see Project Breathe in the list of apps and it should show that you've given Breathe access to your sleep, activity, heart rate and weight data. If it all looks okay, then great, but if not, you'll need to tap the revoke access link and set it up again from scratch. But there's more about this on the Breathe website, which is linked at the end of this video. Are you still with me? Okay, if you're happy with how it all looks in the Fitbit app, then let's move over to the Breathe app and make sure your Fitbit account is connected. In the Breathe settings page, you can easily tell if you're connected to Fitbit because the icon will be green and you will see the word connected. If you're not connected, tap the tile, hit connect and sign in with your Fitbit account. Remember, if you're doing this for the first time, then you'll need to give the Breathe app permission to access your data. Assuming you can connect okay, then if you're still not seeing the data you'd expect, you should check that your data preferences are set correctly. And what does this mean exactly? Well, Breathe can work with a number of different health accounts at the same time, pulling different records in from each one. You'll see what I mean if I go back onto the Breathe settings and tap on the data preferences link. In here, you'll see a list of measures and the account of where they should come from. Make sure the correct account is selected for each measure you want Breathe to keep a track of. And to change it, just tap on the source and select the account you want to use. Head back over to the home screen, pull down to sync. And if you check through all of these steps, hopefully everything should appear just fine. If you've connected Breathe to Apple Health, then once again, be aware that Breathe will only see data that is visible on your Apple Health app. If you're having problems, that's definitely a good place to start. First off, let's check that Breathe is allowed to read data from your Apple Health store. In your health app, tap on your profile icon in the top right and under privacy, tap apps. Project Breathe should appear in this list and in here, check that Breathe is allowed to access any data you want it to read from Apple Health. It's also a good idea to check that any devices or apps that work with Apple Health are set up properly. If you wear an Apple Watch, make sure it's unlocked and linked to your health app so that data can sync throughout the day. If you use apps to track sleep or devices such as spirometers, oximeters or thermometers, you might also need to check that they are set up to write their data to Apple Health. More often than not, this involves checking their permissions, but be aware that sometimes you need to open Apple Health to sync data coming in from other sources. If you see your data in Apple Health but not in Breathe, then open up your Breathe app and go to settings. Firstly, check that health is connected. It should have a green icon and say it's connected. And if that all looks okay, then go to your data preferences page and make sure the measures you want Breathe to pull from Apple Health are correctly selected. Again, these can be changed by tapping on the selected source and updating if needed. 
Once everything is set up, return to your home page and pull to refresh. And hopefully you should now see the data you expect to see in your Breathe app.